Welcome back to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet kitchen apron. It is really very beautiful and enjoyable to make this. Pattern is easy dear friends. It can be complicated to you if you are a beginner but believe me it's really easy if you follow my uh, videos. I explained everything step by step. Uh, in this part, I'm going to show you how to make these squares. As you see, there are six, uh, six pieces of squares in the skirt and also one piece of square in the upper part. Uh, in this first part, I will show you how to make this uh, square. Actually, I, uh, I shared another separate video for this square, but um, for, the, for the ones who are looking for uh, especially kitchen apron, I will also explain in this video how to make this. Uh, I made a separate video because uh, these squares are really very suitable to make uh, cardigans, crochet bags, crochet hats, uh, even crochet tablecloths and uh, crochet bed covers and blah blah. For many purposes, crochet blankets as well, for many purposes you can use these crochet squares for this reason. I also made a separate video uh, about these squares, but in this video I will show you very detailed how we are going to make these squares. Dear friends, please watch this video till the end and at the end uh, you will learn how to make this. We are making six pieces for the skirt part, dear friends, and one piece uh, for the upper part. Uh, for this reason, I don't want to take your time. Let's go on how to make this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring. Please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos in order to be informed about my future video tutorials, dear friends. Thank you so much and let's go on how to make this. For this project, we need 3 mm hook and some cotton yarns, dear friends. We are starting by making chains, dear friends. For this reason, I'm taking my yarn in my hand. I'm just making a knot at first. This is chain 1. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Don't make the chains tight, make the chains normal like this a bit loose i am inserting my hook in the first chain space like this and i am making a tiny circle like this yarn over pull through and i we have a tiny we have a small circle dear friends now i am making three chains one two three now we are going to make the first round yarn over i am inserting my hook in the center of the small circle like this here I am making a, a double crochet while making double crochet I am keeping this uh, on the ring like this I am fixing uh, the yarn end well and also I am hiding it I am making a double crochet I am considering the first three chains as the first double crochet and now this is the second double crochet yarn over i am inserting my hook in the same chain space like this yarn over pull through i am making another double crochet yarn over i am inserting my hook in the same chain space like this and i am keeping this on the ring i mean the yarn end i am making a double crochet like this dear friends one two three four we are going to make double crochets totally 24 double uh, dear friends we are considering this first uh, three chains as the first double crochet when we come to the end there will be totally 24 yes dear friends i made totally 24 double crochets i finished the first row now we have to close uh, this round 
You will remember we made three chains when starting. I am inserting my hook at top of this uh, three chains. I mean I am inserting my hook at the third chain. Yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch and we finished this row. Now what we are going to do, we are going to make the second round dear friends. We made this first round, now we are at the second round. For the second round, first of all I am making two chains. After making two chains, yarn over, I am skipping the following double crochet, I mean this one, I am skipping, I am going to the other, I mean here. I am inserting my hook in there and we are making a double crochet. We skipped this first double crochet stitch space dear friends, we went to the other and we made a double crochet. Now I am making four chains, one, two, three, four, yarn over after making four chains, there is a stitch here, you see, in the front side. Yes, you see the stitches? I am inserting my hook in there, yarn over, pull through, I am making a double crochet. Yes, dear friends, like this, we made a two V shape. This is the first V shape. This is another V shape. Yes, there are two V shape, but this is inverse V shape. You see? You see this V shape? This is inverse, I mean opposite V shape. And this is normal V shape. This is this V shape is normal, this V shape is inverse. After making the first shape, we will uh, go on the same shape all around the all around this circle. And we will finish this round. Now I will tell you how we are going to make the following. Between each shapes we are going to make one chain, dear friends. For example, I finished this shape. Now I am making one chain. Yes, like this. After making one chain, I am making two times yarn over. And you see, there is a stitch here. I am inserting my hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, one times I am making a pull through like this, yarn over, you see normally I should insert here but I am skipping here, I am skipping this stitch and I am going to the following, yarn over, pull through, two loops. I am making pull through and then the other two loops I am making pull through again like this you know here two loops pull through I made one first uh, v-shape and this v-shape is inverse v-shape dear friends later on I will go on two by two pull through this is one this is two. It's been like this. Later on, I am making one chain yarn over. I showed you before uh, when I when we make the first stitch, there are loops here in the front. Let me keep it here. Once again, I will show you these loops. You see, there are two yarn over, pull through. Now I will make a double crochet like this. I made normal V shape. This is normal V shape. This is inverse V shape. We finished the second shape also. This is the first. This is the second dear friend. Yes, we are going on the same way dear friends. What we are doing, we are making one chain after making one chain two times yarn over and you see this stitch we also made double crochet I am inserting my hook in that same stitch yarn over pull through I will make two loops pull through 
end. You see one, two, three loops now on the hook. I am keeping them waiting. Yarn over. I am skipping the first following stitch. I am going to the other. Yarn over. Pull through. Making double crochet. Yes, I made a double crochet. Uh, after finishing double crochet, our first V shape is finished. This is inverse V shape. Now I will uh, make normal V shape. For this reason, I am going on making another double crochet with the rest of the loops. Like this. I am making one chain, yarn over. You see these two loops in the front. Like this. You see these loops, yarn over, pull through. Now I will make double crochet. And normal V shape is also finished. This is normal V shape. This is inverse V shape. Now they are on top of another. You see? One, two, three times we made. For the last, I will show you once again. We are making one chain, two times yarn over. We are inserting our hook that we made double crochet. You see there is a double crochet for the in inverse V shape here. I am inserting my hook after making two times yarn over. I am inserting my hook in that stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yes, now I am making pull through with two loops. There are now three loops on the hook, yarn over. I am skipping this one, going to the other. Yarn over, pull through. Now I will make double crochet. Yes, I finished my inverse V shape. What am I doing? There are three loops on the hook still. I will make double crochet. After making a double crochet, I am making one chain, yarn over. You see these loops in the front, there are two loops. I am inserting my hook in there, yarn over, pull through. Now I am making a double crochet. For the last time I will show, we are making one chain, two times, yarn over. I am inserting my hook in the stitch that I made the first double crochet for the inverse uh, V shape. These two loops I am making pull through. I am keeping these three loops waiting on the hook. Yarn over. I am skipping the following stitch. I am going to the other. Inserting my hook in there. Yarn over. Pull through. And I am making a double crochet. When I finish this, my inverse V shape is finished. Now there are three loops on the hook. I am making a double crochet. I am making one chain, yarn over these two loops in the front. I am inserting my hook in there, yarn over, pull through. I will make a double crochet and I am finishing my normal V shape as well. This is inverse V shape. This is normal V shape. It's been like this, dear friends. All around the circle we are making and we are coming to the end. I came, uh, I nearly came to the end of the row, dear friends. Now I will make the last. I just wanted to, uh, I just want to crochet the last uh, shape with you. What we are doing one moment. What we are doing, first of all, we are making a chain. Two times yarn over. I am inserting my hook in the stitch that I made the double crochet for the inverse V shape. Here, I am inserting my hook in there. Yarn over, pull through. Two loops I will pull. Like this. I am keeping waiting these three loops, yarn over. I am skipping the following stitch and I am going to the other. 
inserting my hook in there yarn over pull through I am making a double crochet and our inverse V shape is finished now you see there are three loops still waiting on the hook I am making a double crochet making one chain yarn over you see this one I am inserting my hook like this yarn over pull through I am making a double crochet yes I finished the last shape as well dear friends it's been like this in this row there are totally 12 shapes dear friends 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now we have we will uh, close this row uh, there are one chain between each shape you know for this reason we are making one chain and you will remember when we make um, you will remember when we make uh, this shape uh, we made four chains for this reason uh, we will insert in the third chain this is one chain this is two and this is three we are inserting at the third chain we are keeping the fourth chain because between the double crochets of the v-shape there is one chain you will remember for this reason we are inserting in the third chain we are making a slip stitch it is finished we finished the second row dear friends now we are going to make the third row what we are doing for this I am inserting my hook in the first following V shape yarn over pull through I am making a slip stitch now I am in the V shape dear friends uh, in the third row we are going to make normal V shapes for this reason we are making our first V shape one two three four four chains I made yarn over inserting my hook in the same uh, way in the same place and making a double crochet yes dear friends like this we made our first V shape in the third row we are always going to make uh, this V shape dear friends in the V shape and also between the spaces in the V shape between the space in the V shape between the space all around this uh, row we are going to make uh, V shapes and between the V shapes there is no chain for example uh, let's make the following V shape in the stitch I finished the first V shape I am making yarn over I'm not I didn't make any chains if you notice I am inserting my hook in this space I am making a double crochet making one chain in order to make the V shape I am inserting my hook in the same space and making my second V this is the first V and this is the second V now making yarn over not making any chains I am inserting my hook in the following V shape I am making a double crochet making one chain yarn over inserting my hook in the V shape in the same V shape and making a double crochet it's been another V shape now we have three V shape dear friends this is one this is two this is three I am making yarn over as I told you between the V shapes between V shapes there is no uh, chain the chain is always when we make uh, the V shape now uh, we are going to make the following V shape I made yarn over inserting my hook in there yarn over pull through making a double crochet making one chain inserting my hook in the same space making another double crochet and finishing the V shape yarn over going to the going in, into the V shape and making a new V shape in there double crochet one chain another double crochet and finished yarn over going to the space 
yarn over pull through making a double crochet making one chain yarn over inserting my hook in the same space yarn over pull through making a double crochet and finished this v shape is finished as well dear friends this row is going on like this till the end of the row make v shapes uh, in each shape uh, also in the v shape also in the space and like this come to the end and let's finish this row i came to the end of this row there is only one uh, v shape left let's uh, make it together and finish this row yarn over i am inserting my hook in this space yarn over pull through making a double crochet making one chain yarn over inserting my hook in the same space yarn over pull through making a double crochet like this and you know we made uh, four chains when we start this row one two and three in the third chain yarn over i'm inserting my hook yarn over pull through making a slip stitch and we finished like this we finished all the round dear friends now we are going to make the third fourth row um, let me remind you you know uh, this shape is square shape but till now we made only round in the fourth uh, in the fourth row i will show you how we are going to uh, make this uh, from round till four square i will show you i mean in the fourth row i will show you how we are going to make these four corners in order to start the fourth row i am inserting my hook in the first v shape yarn over pull through making a slip stitch now i am in the v shape i am making one two three chains yarn over i am inserting my hook in the v shape making a double crochet i am making two chains yarn over i am inserting my hook in the same v shape making a double crochet and inserting my hook in the same space and making one moment and making another double crochet yes we made our first corner two double crochet at first and then two chains and then two double crochet more our first corner is finished dear friends yes after uh, making the first corner we will make our first side for this reason i am making two chains there is a V shape here, you know, I am inserting my hook in there and making a single stitch. I am making two chains. There is another following V shape, you know, I am inserting my hook in there, making another single stitch, making two chains. I am going to the following V shape and inserting my hook in there making another single stitch making two chains going to the following v shape i am inserting my hook in there and making another single stitch yes one single stitch two three and four uh, at each side there should be five single stitch dear friends for this reason i am making two chains more uh, one making this please be careful insert your hook only inside the v shapes not between the v shapes you see this v shape this v shape and there is a space between these two not insert your hook between the v shapes insert your hook always in the into the v shape i made two chains i am inserting my hook in the following v shape and making another single stitch now let's count the single stitches once again this is one single stitch this is two let me show you this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five that means 
we finished the side we are going to make the second corner here yes let's make the second corner together we are making two chains yarn over we are going to the following V shape inserting our hook in there yarn over pull through now we are going to make a double crochet this is the first double crochet yarn over I am inserting the second double crochet into the same uh, place two double crochet I am making two chains yarn over I am going to make two more double crochet in the same space this is one and this is the second yes we finish the second corner as well as you see our first side and two corners are finished let's make the second uh, side and the third corner together uh, after finishing the second corner we are making two chains this is two chains I am inserting my hook in the following V shape and making a single stitch this is first single stitch making two chains going to the following V shape inserting our hook in there and making the second single stitch making two chains going to the following going to the following V shape inserting our hook in there and making the third V shape making two chains going to the following V shape yarn over pull through and making a single stitch it's been one two three four we are making two chains inserting our hook in the following V shape and we are making the fifth single stitch once again let's count this is a one this is two this is three this is four and this is the five this is the fifth single stitch now uh, we are going to make the third corner for this reason we are making two chains yarn over we are going to the following V shape and we are making a double crochet in there this is one double crochet yarn over inserting our hook in there and we are making the second double crochet we are making two chains yarn over we are making two more double crochet in the same place this is one and this is two yes as you see it's been like this the round shape started to become a, a corner dear friends this is first corner second corner third corner and we are going to make the fourth corner and then we will come here and we will finish this row yes I finished all the sides and corners the round shape start to become a corner after uh, finishing the fifth single stitch I am making two chains and I will close uh, this round what am I doing when we start we made three chains you will remember I am inserting my hook at the third uh, chain space making a slip st stitch I have to come uh, in the corner space for this reason I am inserting my hook in the following stitch yarn over pull through making a slip stitch I am inserting my hook in the space yarn over pull through making another slip stitch now I am in the corner we are going to make the fifth uh, round this is one round second round third round and fourth round now we are going to make the fifth round now I am making five chains one two three four five two times yarn over inserting my hook uh, in the space corner space now triple crochet I am to, going to make two by two I will make pull through this is one this is two and this is three we made a long V shape like this we are going to make totally six triple crochet dear friends 
we are considering these five uh, shades as the first triple crochet and this is the second I am making one chain two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same space yarn over pull through like this making another triple crochet and between the triple crochets always making one chain two times yarn over inserting my hook in the space and two by two making a triple crochet making one chain two times yarn over I am making inserting my hook in the space yarn over pull through two by two making a triple crochet one two three four five it's been five we are going to make once more two times yarn over inserting my hook in the same space making another triple crochet one two three four five six yes in the corner we made six triple crochet and between the triple crochets there is always uh, one chain after making six pieces of uh, triple crochet I am making two chains you see after the corner there is a space here in the first space I mean I am inserting my hook in there and making a double crochet like this I made two chains I insert my hook in the first following space and I made a double crochet in there yes after making one double crochet in the first space I'm making yarn over and now I am going to the following space and making another double crochet in there like this it's been a v-shape but uh, inverse v-shape opposite v-shape it's been like this dear friends now I am making one chain yarn over I am inserting my hook in the same place like this and now it's been a normal v-shape you remember at first we made an inverse v-shape opposite v-shape now we made normal v-shape in this row there will be both uh, inverse uh, inverse v-shapes and normal v-shapes uh, in this row dear friends after making normal v-shape I'm making yarn over I am going to the following space making a double crochet in there it's been opposite v-shape like this now I am making one chain I am inserting my hook in the same space making a double crochet and it's been a normal v-shape yarn over going to the following space making a double crochet and making an inverse v-shape making one chain inserting our hook in the same space and making a double crochet and here in this space it's been a normal v-shape yarn over going to the following space making a double crochet it's been a opposite v-shape making one chain inserting our hook in the same place and this time making a normal v-shape it's been like this you see the normal v-shapes and you also see the opposite v-shapes yarn over there is one space here we are making a double crochet in there it's been opposite v-shape before we made normal v-shape and it's been opposite v-shape now we are going to make uh, the corner as we did here in order to make this uh, second corner we are making two chains after making two chains we are making two times yarn over inserting our hook in the corner space and we are making triple crochet two by two we are making pull through like this making one chain two times yarn over inserting our hook in the same space and making a triple crochet 
making one chain two times yarn over inserting our hook in the same space and making a triple crochet like this we are making six pieces of triple crochet dear friends after making six pieces of triple crochet in the corner we are making two chains yarn over going to the first space inserting our hook and making a double crochet yarn over going to the following space and making a double crochet it's been an opposite it's been an inverse v shape making one chain inserting our hook in the same place and making a double crochet it's been normal v shape yarn over going to the following space making a double crochet it's been inverse v shape making one chain inserting our hook in the same place making a double crochet it's been normal v shape yarn over going to the following space making a double crochet it's been inverse v shape one chain inserting our hook in the same place yarn over pull through making a double crochet it's been normal v shape like this we are coming to the end dear friends we are in the last space yarn over inserting our hook in there making a double crochet it's been an inverse v shape now we are in the corner making two chains two times yarn over coming to the center of the corner triple crochet we are going to make one two three making one chain two times yarn over making another triple crochet in the same corner making one chain two times yarn over inserting our hook in the same place making a triple crochet like this we are making six pieces of uh, triple crochet dear friends yes we finished also the third corner it's been like this dear friends uh, in the same way we are coming to the end I came to the end of this row now I am making two chains one two uh, we made five chains you will remember one two three four chains in the four chains I am inserting my hook yarn over pull through making a slip stitch like this we are closing this row dear friends now we will start uh, this uh, sixth row for this reason I am making one chain and inserting my hook in the space making a single stitch in there and making the second single stitch I am going to the following space and making two more single stitch in there this is one and this is two going to the third space and making three single stitches in there one two and three this uh, one two three single stitch will be the uh, top side of the corner for this reason uh, in this space we made three single stitch here we made two single stitch two single stitch and in the third one we made three single stitch because this will be the top side of the corner now I am going to the other two spaces this is one this is two first of all I am inserting my hook in this and making two more single stitch one two going to the other space and making two single stitches yes this corner is finished dear friends this will be the top it's been like this after finishing the first corner we are going to go on in the side dear friends you see in this following space I am making two single stitch this is one this is two I'm skipping the inverse V I'm going to the normal V 
shape I am inserting my hook in there and I am making two single stitch in there I am skipping this one going to normal V shape and making two single stitch in there like this I will go on till the end in the same way I am inserting my hook in the V shape and making a single stitch making the second single stitch in the same way going to the V shape following V shape making two single stitch in there there is a big space here we are making two more single stitch in there one two now I am in the second corner dear friends I will make the same exactly what I did in the first corner first of all in this space and in this space I'm going to make two single stitches in each, each spaces and in the third space I'm going to make three single stitches now I'm inserting my hook in the first space and making one and two single stitch going to the following space and making two more single stitch and going to the following space making three more single stitch one two and three going to the following space and making two single stitch going to the following space making two single stitch this is one and this is two here in this big space we are making two single stitch and skipping the inverse V shape going to normal V shape and inserting our hook and making two single stitches skipping this inverse V shape going to normal V shape and making two single stitches this is a one and this is two like this uh, we are going to the other corner making the corner in the same way we made here and make the sides make the corner again and come to the uh, place that we start dear friends all around we are making the same as I explained to you what we did here and coming to the end yes I came to the end of this row dear friends I am inserting my hook in the first at top of the first single stitch that I make when I start this row yarn over pull through making a slip stitch and I closed I finished this row now we are going to make the last row dear friends for this reason first of all I am making three chains after making three chains making yarn over and one by one I will insert in each single stitch and making a double crochet I made a double crochet in there I am going to the following making another double crochet in there going to the following making another double crochet in there like this I will go on like this till the top corner top uh, place of the corner I will show you what we are going to do at the top of the corner uh, you will remember in the first space we made two single stitch in the second we made two single stitch in the third space we made three single stitches now I am in the third uh, place I am making one double crochet in the first single stitch now I am at top yarn over first of all here in the second stitch this one in the second stitch first of all I am going to make two uh, double crochet in this stitch this is one this is two making three chains one two three after making three chains I am inserting my hook in the same space and making two more double crochet this is one and this is 
too. So uh, we made the corner uh, sharply, yarn over. Now I am going to the following stitch space in the same uh, third space here. Now I am going to the following, making one double crochet. Going to the following space, making another double crochet. Going to the following space, making another double crochet. Going to the following space and making another double crochet. As you see, we make the corner very nice, very sharply like this. From now on, we will go on making double crochets one by one, inserting our hook in each following uh, single stitch spaces, dear friends, like this. Yarn over. I am going to the following single stitch space, making a double crochet, going to the following single stitch space, making a double crochet. Yes, we are going on like this till the top corner of the uh, third space. In the third space, you know, we made three uh, single stitch. Okay, come here. I will uh, show you the corner once again. Yes, I came to the uh, third space of the corner. This one and this one, I made double crochets on the single stitches. Now I will show you the corner once again. What we are doing, you remember, we made three single stitches in there. In the first single stitch space, I am inserting my hook and making a double crochet. Now I am at the top. I mean in the single stitch space of the second double crochet uh, of the third place. I am making one double crochet at first. Yarn over. I am inserting my hook again at top uh, single stitch, making the second double crochet in the same space. And one, two, three chains I am making. Yarn over. I am inserting my hook in the same space, like this, making a double crochet. And making the second double crochet again. And the corner top is finished. Now, one by one, I will go down. One by one, from now on, I will insert in each single stitch spaces, single stitch spaces, and I will make double crochet. Like this, dear friends. Yes, it's been like this. You see, the corners are now uh, becoming very sharply, dear friends. Okay, like this, finishing all around and coming to the end. Like this, I came to the end of the row. Now I will show you how we finish the last yarn over. There is one stitch space here. I am inserting my hook in there, making a double crochet. And now I will insert my hook at top of the first three chains, like this. Yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch, making one chain. We are finishing by cutting the yarn from here, dear friends. It's been like this. It's finished. Now I will show you the other colors. I made them in different colors in order to show you how they look. Actually, I loved all the colors. All of them are really beautiful. Dear friends, we came to the end of another project video. We learned how to make these beautiful squares. And in the second part, I'm going to teach you how to join these uh, squares in V-stitch technique. I will tell you step by step all the details. Thank you so much again watching this video till now. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the inforing 
please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos. See you in the second part of the video, dear friends.